Hey, come on in. It's Pork Set and Sunday, and it's a nice breezy day today. You'll hear the um, wind chimes going, and it's not real warm, but it's not real cold either. And it's a no makeup day again. I just got my mascara on, and that's all. Because this is how I hang out at home on a Sunday. My daughter was here over the weekend from Florida, so I had a good time with her. We played games and just hung out. And okay, let's get into the video. So don't forget, it's another day and another chance to sparkle. So keep a sparkle in your heart and a sparkle in your eye. It makes you beautiful. Okay, so what I wanted, let's come up a little closer. The story I wanted, oh, let me show you the mountains before I forget. I'm trying to keep the story in my head. So let me show you the mountains, how beautiful they're getting. The sun was out, and now it's getting a little cloudy. I think we're going to get some rain. So there's the mountains. So there's not a lot of green yet, but we have got, um, hi, we have got some green up here back here and we've got flowers coming up on the hill those aren't it but on the back side of the house we've got flowers coming up so the little um, crocuses and we have um, what I call Easter flowers the the yellow big yellow daffodils and my hostesses are about that high so yeah okay so the story I wanted to tell you about is about, oh my girl, look at her. My girl is just sitting here shaking. Don't be afraid, mama got you, baby girl. She hasn't been on a video in a long, long time, has she? She is doing great. Her leg is still broke, but she does very well on it. And we, had, we didn't have it cut off, and I'm so happy we didn't put her through that. She is just doing very good. We found a food that she would eat, and I'm so, so happy about that. So, she's taken well care of. Yes, this is my girl. Her is a diva now, isn't her? Sit down here on Mama's lap. Mama, cover you up, okay? There you go. Okay. The story I wanted to tell you was about my middle daughter. Her name is Michaela. You pronounce it Michaela, and she has people call her Shay, which I don't like. I call her Mish or Michaela if I'm mad at her. I named her, I just always liked that name when I was a, a little girl. I don't know where I heard it at, don't know. I really don't know. I just always said if I had a little girl, I was going to name her Michaela and then Maria after my grandmother. So I named her Michaela Maria, and I wanted to name my oldest daughter that, but my husband wouldn't let me. He didn't like that name. My None of his family liked that name, and his dad couldn't even pronounce it. He always called her Purcell. <laughs> Why? I don't know. But he always called pizza peachy. But anyway, um, when she was about two years old, maybe two and a half, um, they all, all, all of our kids, except for the youngest one, which at the time was um, about one and a half, or maybe a little older. Anyway, the, the last two were very, very close. They wanted a goat. So we got them a baby goat. And the other kids played with the goat, but my middle daughter, and this might be, I told my husband the other night when I thought of this, because I was trying to think of things that my kids did and other things, you know, I want to tell you all, all the good stories, not all the bad things that happened in my life, and I've went through a lot, trust me. And I try to focus on the good in my life, not the bad. Anyway... She always, and she's hard-headed as all get out, she always um, would headbutt with that goat. She would get on one side of the yard, the goat would get on the other, and how she ever got that goat to know that she would headbutt with it, I have no clue. Because she would be out there in that yard, and I was always scared she was going to get a concussion. And... So I always tried to keep her from doing it, but just as soon as my head was turned, she would be headbutting that thing again. 
and it was the most comical thing to watch because she was you know just running as hard as she could and that goat would run and it was a baby too it wasn't an adult goat that baby running when they'd hit my daughter would fall over and the goat would fall over so it was just so funny but I was always afraid that she was going to get a concussion but the neighbors loved to watch her and we just thought it was so funny and then we had to get rid of the goat because it got too big and we was afraid that she was going to keep headbutting with it and it was really going to hurt her so we had to get rid of the poor thing but that was just the one of the things that happened when she was young and that may be why she's so hard-headed now because she is so hard-headed you cannot get anything through her head so that was just one of the stories that I wanted to tell you all. I want spring so bad. I want spring to come so bad. And I'm hoping it comes and my little girl is just sitting here shivering. And it's really not that cold. But where she's so tiny, she gets cold easy. So let me just cover her up here. And you want to tell everybody hi? Hi, everybody. She's got her little toenails done. You want to show your little toenails, baby girl? I love her so much. She is the best thing besides you all that's ever happened in my life. God just knew what I needed and knew when I needed it because he's always put everything in my life just when I need it. He put you all in my life when I needed you, and he's put her in my life. Something else to love. So if you haven't already, don't forget... We're making friends here so hit that subscribe button below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and also leave me a comment because I like to chit chat share me around because I want to travel when you're the only way that I'm going to get to and don't forget always if you've had a bad day a bad week or even a bad month there's a rainbow at the end love you guys me and Diva says bye